Here I am, I just posted the other one. You see, I took a lot of oh, shit. It's just Zilka crying. It's called show. Okay, show, what is this? If it wouldn't be from Matria, man, he was derailed. Well, because Matria showed me how that's creepy and crazy. That's what's going on. It's because everything was creepy and crazy ever since Matria came. One was at 9, 10, 11. Then he made a move. And he had to move at 9, at 10, at 11, at 12, at 13. He made a move. And he missed out the move on 14, man. Yeah, all creepy and all crazy. I would not want to live there. There? I don't know. It feels overwhelming. It's what it feels. Negative energy. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, once you cross the bridge and there's a tiny island. It's a, the whatever bridge, it doesn't matter. You don't need to know, it's not important. But you can see from the bridge, a tiny island. So here he is, no, someone else. He says, oh, I'm gonna buy the island. <laughs> nice smile. Because it looked so nice to watch the island, but can you see from the other side? So it was a child, I think, or a teenager, preteen. I said, look, now deposit yourself on the other side. Now look, what do you see? <laughs> bridge, are you sure you want that? No, of course, this doesn't look so nice. Oh, it looks nicer in the movie than it looks in real life. But of course, when you sit there, you look over to the park. And that's maybe cool. I still don't feel it. It's too close to the park. I would never want to build houses like that. Park is park. You should have trees around. We don't like to watch buildings. We just like to watch buildings. The most like to watch a building is when it's pretty and it's yours. <laughs> yeah, imagine creepy, man. If you think about Paul... No, I recover. No, I'm crying because it's given a bit of love and I'm falling apart because you have no idea how I'm pumping this shit here. Pumping and pumping and pumping. Well, are you are happy because I have something else going on. Oh yeah, all dog people are assholes. Now he's gonna leave the dog loose and scare the shit out of me. Now he's just gonna show me that he's an asshole. Oh yeah, I concur. Do you want me to talk about it? When a horse suffers, it's it's common habit, I don't know, maybe a board wide, to shoot the horse, so the horse wouldn't f suffer. People think that's okay. You think, let him suffer? Yeah, but when a dog suffer? No, we have to continue letting him suffer. Why? Because you're so humanitarian? Are you dogitarian? Because the dog can't do anything about it. And neither can the people. Because there's no way out. It's just gonna get worse. Let's go back to Paul. So, my trainer showed me how weird this all was. Oh, creepy, creepy. So I accept it weird, but if you look at it from a my, I mean, rational perspective, there's no stone to say, hey, here's one, like, I'm like, dark, 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 <laughs> so, so fit in there. No, man, these two is more for that. From my perspective, said, what the heck? What is this? Is this brain damaged? Oh, I couldn't because I don't go, but I would have gone in front and would have looked at me. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I actually wrote it to him. I wrote it to him after that May. I said, stop harassing me. Stop harassing me. Just don't contact me anymore. Off. Anyway, too many different stories. You want me to talk to you about it? Let me think about it. Well, I was pointed out that he was walking in front of my house back and forth. There's nothing wrong with walking in front of anybody's house. Unless, of course, you want something from the person. Then how about knock the door, sit on the bench, talk to me. Oh, I don't really like you. So now what are you doing? Look how cool is this. I don't have to search more answers. Did that a cheetah through with Padiente? Oh yeah, Padiente. Help me on the stick. Yeah, don't go, but don't come. Don't come too close, but don't go away. But don't, don't, don't. You're on the stick. That's how I felt like a dog on a stick. 
on, on a metal rod where he held one end and he had me connected to the other end. That's how I felt with Pariente. What would you like to see? So it's like, I couldn't really go off and I couldn't come closer either. So I was like there, like an exhibition. Okay, that's good. But he wasn't happy either. Because in my infinite love, I would have felt happy if he would have felt happy in that circumstance. I know it sounds creepy weird, but I am like that. It doesn't mean I wanted to stay there, but he wasn't. He was unhappy constantly, continuously. I'm intending not to film the dogs because it's the, own, the owners. The people who walk the dogs are so selfish and egotistical. So harsh to the field. Yeah, because they have no brains. They have yoga clothing though. <laughs> I just said that. They have yoga clothing. <laughs> Instead of brains. Oh, I've seen that in Marine County. Plenty. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Wow, you have no idea how soothing a, a tree is. So that's what he was walking back and forth in my house. Oh, at 7 a.m. Every day. <laughs>